with sit means sit, obviously there's always lessons. Um, there's dogs coming in for evaluations. Um, so, and we go out and do lessons. We do group classes four times a week. So we have group class in the evenings. We, in the summertime, we have dogs that are swimming. We have dogs that are coming in for boarding. We have dogs that are coming in for grooming. And then we have dogs that are coming in for daycare. So there's a lot of moving parts. Uh, so we have to have a really top-notch staff, which we do. We work really hard in training them uh, so that we can manage every situation. Because dogs always leave with their mouths, so uh, sometimes we have to battle a, a dog fight here and there. But we've learned all the dogs' personalities. We learn really quickly to pick up on things to prevent any you know bad things from happening. So we we encourage the dogs to be out. Like you got to see dogs go out and play, and they really have fun together. But there's risk involved. I mean, so we have to, our staff is well trained. Uh, to, to stop any fights before they start and the dogs have to be in timeout sometimes but it all works out so that the dogs are having the best experience. We're controversial in the sense that we use remote collars. We believe in them completely. Other people uh, feel that you know that that's over the top or too much or whatever but really it's all about attention and everything is attention based every dog trainer uses some sort of a tool and this is our tool and the reason that we like it so much is because it gives us the ability to create the relationship and always have a dog's attention everyone I talk to always says my dog's really good but when there's a distraction my dog's really good but when there's another dog and so we're able to create the relationship and the attention always with the owner and the reason that that's so important to me is because it's a safety issue it's a safety issue for the people and for the dogs and so I always want to have that that ability to always have the most value that my dogs will always pay attention to me and it's no different than tapping somebody on the shoulder and getting their attention and when I can break the attention of a dog and that distraction I'm gonna have success It is our number one priority. We definitely want to take care of our four-legged customers, just how our two-legged customers want us to take care of them. Um, everybody has their different expectations, so we try to meet them. We basically give them everything that they want us to as far as they bring in treats, toys, bedding, um, blankets, different things. We, um, have put up our camera system so that they can watch them while they're here. Um, basically anything that they ask us to do, we try to accommodate. Dogs have kind of moved from being a simple pet like they used to, say, 20 years ago, to being a little part of people's family. And going from that transition from something that was at your house that you played with to something now that's involved in your life, um, I feel like it's our job to make it where those dogs can be fully involved in your life. Um, the new Sit Me Sit model that they came out with is having happy, obedient, confident dogs. And now that you're taking your dogs out to crowded areas with a lot of people, with a lot of weird noises, it's all about building up that confidence and helping them be more involved in their family's lives. think that we get to make a difference for people. We make a difference for the dogs and we've saved a lot of dogs' lives and we've saved a lot of relationships. Um, Husband-wife sometimes, because they're like, if you don't get rid of the dog, I'm leaving you. We've done things like that. Um, and the other thing is we've made a difference for people that truly need a dog. Um, that it makes a difference in their life. Maybe they're depressed or they're, you know, whatever it happens to be. Dogs are amazing. They're amazing. I mean, they're happy to see you all the time. Uh, they're willing to love you all the time, no matter what you do. And so being able to create a relationship where that dog gets to go with that person all the time, I think that's the most rewarding thing for me. Anything else you want to add? Come and check us out. It's, it's lots of fun. And there's always something interesting going on. Right on. My favorite part would definitely be the group classes and watching uh, parent uh, owners and their dogs kind of advance and seeing that really hard product that we get when they first come in um, whether it's a dog that's scared to death or a dog that's even happy just having some issues and watching them advance through the training and then reaching that point where they're off leash they're with them all the time they're therapy dogs now I see them in the hospitals different things like that so it's really cool watching that growth and seeing the light just kind of switch with the owners and all of a sudden they're ecstatic with their dog. 
Is there anything else you want to add? Um, no, it's a very enjoyable job. I mean, working with dogs all the time, it has its stressful moments, but you can't really beat it when you get to see a dog that comes in that bites you when it first walks in, and when it leaves, they slick in your face, and it's all it just wants to love on it. The animals, I definitely love, love, love being with the dogs, even if I'm having a, a rough day with any other aspect of the business. If I go out and hang out with the dogs for a little bit, it always makes me feel better. So I just love being around them. Definitely.